Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. My name is Sanya and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro fast. So, in today's video we will discuss about 15 things you must do after installing Debian 11 Bulls Eye. So, let's get started. Well, after 2 years, 1 month and 9 days of development, the Debian project is proud to present its new stable version 11, Bull's Eye, which will be supported for the next 5 years. Debian is known as the core operating system for other Linux distributions such as Canonical's Ubuntu and Raspberry Pi operating system. So, the first thing that you should do after installing Debian 11 Bulls Eye is set the settings for terminal. As we will use terminal so many times in this video, so I will show you how you can adjust the settings for terminal first. So for that, here you can see the option, click on it and from here, search here for settings. Click on it. Now once you will click on it, here you have different options. Scroll down it a bit. And here you can see the option keyboard shortcuts. Click on it. Now scroll down it a bit. Now here you need to click on this plus sign in order to add a shortcut. Once you will click on it, here you can see add custom shortcut. Here you need to write the name of the shortcut that you want to create. Well, I'll write here terminal. And here you need to write the command. So for that, I'm going to write genome hyphen terminal. And then here, you can select this option, set shortcut. Click on it. Once you will click on it, you can see, enter the new shortcut. Now here, you need to enter the shortcut that you want to create for this particular action simultaneously. So I'm going to press Ctrl plus Alt plus T. And here you can see, once I'll press it, I can see my shortcut here. I can either remove it or I can either add it. So I'm going to click on this add button. Now, when you will click on it, here you will be able to see the shortcut that I have added recently, that is terminal. And the shortcut is Control plus Alt plus T that we use in Debian or Linux distributions to open the terminal. Now from here, you can add different shortcuts for different purposes. And let's see that our shortcut is working properly or not. As I have set the shortcut as Control plus Alt plus T, so to open the terminal, press Control plus Alt plus T. And here you can see I'm able to work on my terminal. So this is the first and the foremost thing that you should do after installing Debian 11 Bulls I. So you will be able to use terminal easily. The next thing that you should do after installing any operating system is download and install updates. Well, this is the first thing that you should do whenever you install a new operating system on any device. Running the latest version of the software keeps you away from unnecessary bugs and glitches that might hamper your performance and updates also bring in new additional security features for your system. Open your terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T. And now here you need to write sudo apt update and then hit enter. Well, it will ask for your sudo password. Here you can see our system has been updated successfully. Now to upgrade the system, you need to write sudo apt upgrade and then hit enter. Coming towards the next thing that you should do is install additional software. I'll show you different commands to install different software. Now to install development tools, you need to write sudo apt install hyphen y build hyphen essential cm and then hit enter. Now among CLI softwares, I have successfully installed development tools. Now clear the terminal first. Now in order to install file archivers, you need to write sudo apt install hyphen y p7 zip space p7 zip hyphen full space unrar hyphen free space unzip and then hit enter. 
I have installed it successfully. Now, in order to install text editor, you need to write sudo apt install hyphen y nano wimp and then hit enter well it will take some time so you have to wait patiently that is how you can install different tools and softwares that you are going to use further while working with the operating system now here you can see it have fetched many archivers but unable to fetch some archivers well that's completely okay now clear the terminal same here you can install different gui software like partition tool user space virtual file system network manager and open vpn for genome BitTorrent client scientific calculator video and audio player volume control text editor graphics editors audio and video editors ftp ftps sftp clients office latex and screencast the next thing that you should do after installing debian 11 is Install Synaptic Package Manager. Well, Synaptic Package Manager is an old school graphical package manager, but it is proven by time. It is extremely reliable and very powerful. Using Synaptic, you can find and install many libraries and packages that are not visible in the software center. Well, Synaptic is not as pretty as the software center, but it is user friendlier than the command line. You can either find and install Synaptic through the software center or you can run this command in the terminal sudo apt install synaptic and then hit enter. Now clear the terminal. The next thing that you should do is improve battery performance. Some of you might have noticed more battery consumption on Debian as compared to Windows. Well, it is totally hardware specific and we can tweak it to get some extra hours. So for that, you need to install TLP, which is a power management tool, which works in background to reduce battery usage. So for that, you need to write sudo apt install TLP and then hit enter. In order to continue, you need to press Y and then hit enter. You can see we have successfully installed TLP. After the installation, reboot and you will find the TLP process active. So for that you need to write sudo reboot and then hit enter. And here you need to write sudo system ctl status TLP and then hit enter. Now it will ask for your sudo password. And here you can see active. Now simply press Ctrl C and then clear the terminal. The next thing that you should do is install Flatpak. Flatpak is a software utility from Fedora which lets you get access to more applications and software packages in Linux and its various distributions. Many applications you might not find in Software Center but with the help of Flatpak you can bypass this. So in order to install it you need to write sudo apt install flatpak and then hit enter. Once the installation is complete, you can integrate flatpak plugin with software center as well. The next thing that you should do is install microcode. Microcode is a CPU firmware that controls how a processor works. It is better to have the latest microcode for stability and security of the system. So by installing microcode, you can ensure you receive the microcode updates. Now, to install microcodes, Synaptic Package Manager becomes handy. So, close the terminal, go to Activities and search here for Synaptic Package Manager. Click on it. It will ask for your sudo password. Now, once you will open it, here, click on this search icon. From here, you can search for packages. Now, here you need to search for microcode and then click on this search button and here you can see microcode now scroll down it a bit here you can see intel microcode so click on it and here you can see mark for installation so click on mark for installation and then mark it now go and click on apply and here again click on apply 
and here you can see it is downloading the package files. From here, you can search for microcodes in Synaptic and install either Intel or AMD microcode depending on the type of your processor. Well, my processor is Intel, so I'm going to download the Intel microcode. Check this box, automatically close after the changes have been successfully applied. Now, whenever it will be installed, it will automatically close. The next thing that you should do is enable night mode in Debian. If you have to work till late in night on computer, then Debian has dedicated night light mode to protect your eyes. Standard blue light is harmful for eyes. So go through the following step in order to set the night mode. Go to activities and from here search for settings and click on it. Once you will click on it, here you can see different options. Go to display and here you can see the night light. Night light makes the screen color warmer. This can help to prevent eye strain and sleeplessness. Enable it. Once you will enable it, you can set the schedule here. You can also set the time here according to your schedule as well as you can change the temperature. You can make it more warm or you can make it less warm. The next thing that you should do is enable Genome extensions. Genome is a minimal and limited in functionality desktop, but it can be improved and changed to an unrecognizable state with Genome extensions. So let's enable them. You can either get it through the software center but it is better to configure direct installation from the genome website as there are more extension to that end make sure you have the chrome genome shell package installed so for that open your terminal by pressing ctrl plus alt plus t and then here you need to write sudo apt install chrome hyphen genome hyphen shell and then hit enter it will ask for your sudo password. Now after that, go to Genome Extension website and you will be offered to install the Genome Shell integration add-on. So you need to do that. Now search here for Genome Extension website and then hit enter. Now here you can see click here to install browser extension and from here you can install the Genome Shell integration add-on. Now close it and clear the terminal. The next thing that you should do is remove unnecessary applications. Luckily Debian 11 genome does not come with too much clutter. However, there are still some programs that you may want to remove. There are two ways to do that. First, open the software center, go to activities and search here for software center, click on it and from here, you can directly go to the installed tab and from here you can see the installed application. The one way is go through all these applications and uninstall the applications that you think you are not going to use. I usually remove different games from here. Well, close it. Now, if you want to go even further, you can open the synaptic, go to activities and search here for synaptic, click on it. It will ask for your sudo password. Now from here go to status and from here go to all or either installed. Well, I would suggest you to go to all and from here you can see all the applications and all the installed applications as well. You can also see the not installed application as well. So from here, either from installed or all applications, you can search for the applications that you are not going to use and you can remove them. Be careful not to remove programs that are vital for your system. You might damage your system by removing some programs from the synaptic installed section. If you don't know what you are doing, then be careful. Now close it. The next thing that you should do is install time shift. Having system backup and restore points is necessary as it can save one from losing important data if any glitches happen in the system. Time shift is one of the tools available for Debian so that you can use it to backup your system. So in order to install time shift, open your terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T. You need to write sudo add hyphen apt hyphen repository hyphen y ppa colon t g 2008 forward slash ppa and then hit enter. It will ask for your sudo password. Now you need to write sudo apt update and then hit enter. 
Now here you need to write sudo apt install time shift and then hit enter. In order to continue you need to press y. And here you can see we have successfully installed time shift. Well there is another way. Close the terminal, go to activities and from here search for synaptic package manager. Once you will click on it, it will ask for your sudo password. Now here you can search for time shift. Now here you can see time shift as I have already installed it using terminal but you can also install it from here. Now close it. The next thing that you should do is install all available free and non-free device firmware. So for that open your terminal by pressing ctrl plus alt plus t and here you need to write su hyphen hyphen c single quotation apt install hyphen y firmware hyphen linux space firmware hyphen misc hyphen non-free single quotation close and then hit enter. It will ask for your sudo password. Here you can see I have successfully installed all available free and non-free device firmwares. So now clear the terminal. The next thing that you should do is install required software like Skype, VLC etc. Debian 11 does not come packed with all the applications but only the applications and tools required to run the operating system along with some other basic applications. Hence you need to install all the required software by yourself. So if you want to install Skype so for that you can download and install the latest Skype package using this command. So you need to write wget https colon double forward slashes go dot skype dot com forward slash skype for linux hyphen 64 dot deb and then hit enter. We have successfully downloaded it. Now to install it first clear the terminal and here you need to write sudo apt install dot forward slash skype for linux hyphen 64 dot deb and then hit enter. It will ask for your sudo password. And here you can see we have successfully installed skype. So just close it, go to activities and search here for skype. And here you can see we are able to get it. Now close it. Install VLC media player. To install VLC media player open your terminal and here you need to write sudo apt install vlc and then hit enter. It will ask for your sudo password. In order to continue press y. Here you can see we have successfully installed vlc media player. Now clear the terminal. The next thing that you should do is install filezilla. To install filezilla on Debian 11 you need to run sudo apt install file zilla and then hit enter. In order to continue press y. By using filezilla and ftp client users can upload, download, delete, rename, move and copy files on a remote server. While ftp could be accessed via terminal programs with a graphical user interface are preferred. And FileZilla client represents an easy to use multi-platform solution. While it is an immensely popular and safe FTP client, it allows you to view the file structure of a web server, meaning you will be able to see all of the files and folders on your web server just as though you were looking at your own hard drive. FileZilla have been installed successfully. Now go to activities and from here search for filezilla and here you can see we have installed it successfully. Now close it and clear the terminal. Now install email client. Well another important tool for Debian 11 is the email client. In order to install it you need to write sudo apt install thunderbird and then hit enter. 
In order to continue, you need to press Y and then hit enter. An email client is a program that lives on your computer and lets you send or receive emails. Typical examples include Outlook and Gmail. Now here you can see we have successfully installed email client. Now clear the terminal. The next thing that you should do is you should clean up your system. After installing different application and packages for the smooth functioning of the system, keeping it clean from junk files and unwanted cache is necessary. So for that, you can either clean the partial packages or you can remove unused dependencies. To clean partial packages, you need to write sudo apt autoclean and then hit enter. To remove unused dependencies, you need to write sudo apt auto remove and then hit enter. To auto clean up apt cache, you need to write sudo apt clean and then hit enter and close the terminal. That's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any queries, reach out to us in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.